Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel and a very happy new year. I recently filmed my makeup favorites and hair favorites of 2017. I will link those up above and down below. A lot of you, especially in my makeup video, were asking about other products, how come they didn't make your list, and so on and so forth. Ideally, I would have liked to have a video for each category. I definitely had several favorites for eyeshadow palettes, bronzer, highlighter, because of time and I had to narrow it down to one product per category. It led me to just choose one. That still doesn't mean that I have other favorites and I consider uh, top products of 2017. And with that said, I will try my very best to keep record of everything I use this year so when I get to the end of the year, I'm able to now better manage my time and perhaps do a video for each makeup category and also for hair. I'll have several conditioners, several stylers, several uh, hair oil shampoos to give a more thorough experience of products that will launch this year and that is the plan. Thank you for your feedback. I have been really loving seeing what your favorites have been for 2017 and I look forward to what's coming out this year. I'm happy to bring you today's video as it is a partnership with Inspiree Brands. It is a company that connects social influencers to brands and that collaboration helps create content. The great thing about this is the exchange is not paying me to review products. In fact, the exchange is with the free product that is sent to me, all I have to do is film a review video. Not only that, but I'm able to pick the products from the brand that is partnering with me at the time. It's great because it allows me to see the whole spectrum of the product line, choose what I would like if I were to buy this on my own, except now I'm getting it for free. And I like this opportunity, I appreciate it because again, being a social influencer and a beauty blogger just starting out is tough. It is hard on the budget in that you want to review a lot of new product that is constantly launching, but it is expensive as I generally have to buy everything myself. And with this partnership, I'm able to try other brands that I don't necessarily have to pay out of pocket for, but I'm able to present you with reviews, some insight on these products that maybe you yourself have been thinking about purchasing. Thank you Inspire Brands for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. And today's featured brand that we are reviewing and speaking about is Josie Marin. I've always wanted to try her products and I have tried some in the past but I didn't think I was that skincare and makeup savvy at the time. And because of that, I really didn't know how to use her products and didn't have a full understanding of the message and the ingredient list and all that. Now because I I've tried a ton of makeup. I have a better understanding of ingredients and what they do that I was really able to hanker down, understand the products, and give you a review of what I chose. I chose five products out of her line that I thought I would use and spoke to me the most in terms of how well they will integrate in my current routine. I chose the Josie Marin a Body Butter. I also chose her Vibrancy Argon Oil Foundation Fluid, which I wanted to buy when it first launched, but it's on the expensive side. I have Sephora, my Sephora app on standby. Hold on, please. This is $45, and I think it's on the expensive side. You get one fluid ounce, which is a standard amount for foundations. And the reason I think it's at that price point is because it is a treatment in addition to a makeup product. As you know, Josie Marin is all about including argan oil in all of her products in the entire line. This one, of course, has argan oil in addition to coconut alkalines, aloe vera juice, the argan oil, lecithin, lecithin, shea butter, ethyl, esters, and it does have silicone in this, which kind of helps smooth it out and help with the fluidity of the product. It also says it can increase your skin's moisture levels, also improve its smoothness and softness, and also help calm their skin conditions such as scarring, inflammation, and rosacea. So like I said before, you're getting a makeup product, but as well you are buying the skincare benefits included in the formula. I have it on right now. I put it on today. This color is a little worn for me, although 
way back when I was thinking about purchasing this. I did remember Fearless being my color at the time and it's possible that I swatched it during the summer thus why leading me to think this was my my color now but it is very warm you'll see here that when applying it brings me a very warm almost tan olive undertone to my skin and because it is very hydrating and emollient it does take a while to dry down and i found that the best way to apply this is with a beauty sponge because it will take away some of the product and not leave a lot on the skin if you want full coverage i would suggest going in a second time like i do here because i have scarring on my cheeks and i found that a second layer concealed them better than just one also this is said to be a i believe it's medium to full let me double check on that yes it's said to be medium to full on the first application i find that i get more medium coverage full on the second layer but i like how it does layer without looking dry or textured and again because of its uh, hydrating formula it yields those results without it being too drying and too patchy because it takes a while to dry down i definitely have to powder it works in the weather now because it's winter here at nyc and my skin gets very dry between from being outside back inside where the heat is on and it's helpful that the foundation is hydrating in nature so it just kind of helps keep those levels of moisture high throughout the day. You'll see when applying my concealer, I applied both the NARS Radiant Creamy and Ginger and the Tarte Shape Tape in Medium to lighten up the center of my face and that helps balance out the color a little bit better. Ideally, I would apply this with my Hourglass Vanish Seamless Stick Foundation because that foundation is a little lighter and it just helps balance out the color so it doesn't make me look too too warm because this on its own definitely brings me like a shade one or one and a half uh darker and if i don't apply the concealer it can look a little like you're so tan in the face but what's happening here I, I don't quite understand i would not repurchase this foundation simply because my skincare regimen is on lock i apply a lot of essence a lot of serum a lot of uh moisture one of them being the whipped argan oil face butter which i actually really love i'll get to this in a second i find that i don't need those hydrating benefits in my foundation because i feel i take care of the moisture concern in my skincare routine i feel like i don't need it so much in my foundation and for it to be so expensive and i've already invested that money again in my skincare products and i feel like i don't have to with a foundation that has a lot of the ingredients that my skincare products already have. Now, needless to say, I understand Hourglass Vanish Stick is $42, and it's around the same price point as the Vibrancy. I feel the Hourglass leaves a more satin finish. It just gives me a little more of a matte finish. And again, I'm very hydrated, very dewy after my skincare routine, and I need the foundation not to be as emollient in nature. The shade for from the Hourglass is perfect on me. I did end up buying Warm Honey because they recently launched six new shades, and Honey and Warm Honey together on me is flawless. A little bit of golden in the center, a little bit of warmth around the perimeter of my face, and it's on point. I think if you are short on time with skincare and don't have a ton of products for skincare and need your foundation to provide those moisture benefits and to help with any of those skin conditions mentioned, inflammation, rosacea, uh, scarring, what have you, then this will be great. Again, I already have a ton of product that addresses those issues and I feel like I don't need my foundation to do those things and it does again dry down very slowly and this is fine in the winter time but in the summertime i think it'll be a little bit too dewy for my skin type because i tend to get more oily in the summertime with the heat and the humidity it really influences how my skin reacts and i feel that foundation would be not too great for that season 
whereas hourglass for me is top notch all season round winter fall spring summer it definitely works with my skin and i could adjust my skincare so it could perform well i'll keep using this because i have it but i will combine this with my other foundations again for the shade and also for the texture of it so it's not so dewy i jumped right into foundation but i also chose a skincare set that i actually really liked this is the do you for you you deserve it firm nourishing prime three-step argon oil prep the box is empty but i wanted to show you the packaging it's 25 dollars for these three products you get the argon oil face butter you get the argon oil 100 percent pure oil and you also get the finishing balm these three little products I think make a really nice gift for anyone wanting to try Josie's skincare products and they do include her best sellers. Her argan oil is one of the top sellers in Sephora and from her line period. I think it's just a pure product and the way it's ethically uh, sourced in terms of the argan trees and the oil it's a very sustainable way of creating this product and i think that's what the company prides themselves on face butter i was surprised to have liked this product as much as i did it's nearly finished and the reason why i didn't finish it was because i wanted to leave some and show you the texture of the product for this video i apply some here to bare skin this is after my essence and my serums and all that good stuff it's very emollient in nature and i dot it around my face and i was surprised to discover how lovely of a satin finish it left my skin in i was expecting it to be more greasy but i was pleasantly surprised to discover it was not shiny and greasy at all it's a very smooth emollient texture once it applies on but when working it into the skin and letting it absorb it allows the skin to dry in a really nice satin finish it it feels plush and it's a nice envelopment of everything under the face butter and just feels really protecting especially now in this weather with the wind and the cold temperatures i really like the face butter the only reason why i'm not repurchasing is because i recently just picked up a new Lala Retro Cream from Drunk Elephant during the VIB Rouge sale. If it wasn't because of that and I didn't have a face butter, I would pick this up for sure. Another component I love about this formula is that it is unscented and that is phenomenal because sometimes when it comes to skincare and something is too fragrant, I know it has made me sneeze or just it kind of gives me a little bit of a sniff headache because it is so perfumey in nature that i can't fully enjoy the moisture benefits because my nose is on fire but this is on completely unscented there's no weird like it's unscented but there's a little earthiness no it's completely unscented it doesn't smell artificial it's just a clean product I love how it make my face feel it didn't break me out I used this product for two and a half weeks pretty much day and night I used it day and night two and a half weeks all you know up to when it was done I didn't experience any major breakouts my skin felt great it felt hydrated it felt nourished and plush I really love the texture the butter left my skin in and again I would buy this product and I will use this product again the Lala Retro Cream pump design on the jar spoils me because I love how hygienic it is. You don't have to dip your finger into the jar to get the product. So Josie, if you're watching this, I would love for this to be designed with that jar pump up design. I think Kate Somerville has that with some of her products as well. That will be bomb. Forgive me, I did not tell you the price of the full size of the base butter it is $40 for 1.7 ounces it's an expensive product it is said to be formulated for normal oily combination dry and sensitive so it's multi across the board in terms of texture spectrum for the skin 
It's set to design to sink deeply for juicy, glowing, and hydrated skin. Protect skin with essential fatty acids and vitamin E. So digestive blend of watermelon seed oil, ooh, shea butter, and fresh cucumber extract. It's, it's a really beautiful product. And again, because I didn't already purchase my Lala, I would consider buying this sure the argon oil is multitasking I put this in my hair I drop some onto my cuticles before bed you could also press this on your face after your skincare is done I know oils sometimes are marketed to be serums and when applied before your moisturizer is hard for your moisturizer to penetrate the oil that's why it is imperative that you press oil after Everything has been applied because oil can penetrate, but not everything can penetrate the oil. So just keep that in mind. Again, I rub this on my cuticles. I put some in my hair. It's a nice uh, final sheet of moisture to apply before heading out to this cold water. And pressing it into your skin if you want to add a couple of drops to the next product we shall talk about. Body butter. I love this product. I will repurchase. I will repurchase this body butter. Hold on, I want to get the price for these. This is $35 for 8 ounces. This is the box it comes in. It is sold in several fragrances. Just to go over some of the ingredients, you have aqua, aloe vera leaf juice, Argon oil is the third ingredient listed, so there is a crap ton in here, followed by sunflower seed oil, glycerin, there's shea butter fruit and shea butter. There's also avocado oil in addition to squalene, uh, camellia tea leaf extract. That's great. Lots of botanicals in here. Beautiful whipped texture. It's just a pleasure to apply this right after the shower when your skin is still damp. And the way it smooths over the skin is a delight. It's very light, but it packs a punch in the hydration department. And it absorbs quickly. That was one thing I found that did not happen with the, the bum bum cream or whatever that cream is called in the orange jar. I tried a little bit of that. I found that you need it really to work. You had to work that butter into your skin and it took a little while to absorb. I was like, why isn't this thing soaking up yet? This though absorbs quickly. It's easy to apply. I have the scent jasmine because you know I love my jasmine, my tuberose, and my gardenia. And it's not overpowering. It doesn't smell perfumey, which some jasmine labeled scents can be. I found this to be very pleasant to the nose. It's light, it's fresh, it's, it's a really beautiful scent. It does not make me sneeze, it does not tickle my nose. It also comes, the body butter, in like vanilla and other fruity uh, fragrances as well. It comes unscented, which is great. If you love the formula but you're not into scents, get the Body Butter Unscented version. I think you will love it. I, again, when this is done, I will definitely repurchase. This also comes in minis, I believe. Checking here now. The mini version for $12. Has anyone been experiencing really slow times with the Sephora app? I think it's like majorly lagging a little bit. I'm not finding the price here for the smaller size. I will post it here beside me. The full size Argon oil, let me see here. It ranges from $16 to $96. The 1.7 ounce is $48. The 0.5, which is what I have, retails for $16. The jumbo four ounce size is for $96. The more you get, the less you pay per ounce, I believe. If you love argon oil and you use that on a daily basis and for years, yeah, definitely consider the jumbo size. I think the 0.5 is a great travel size. You will not get flagged by the TSA. And you use so little bit, or I do anyway, that I feel not necessary to buy the the 1.7 ounce. I think this 0.5 will last me quite a bit. Even when using it for all the things that I've mentioned before, I think it's still a good size for my lifestyle. The last product that came in the skincare set is the Surreal Skin Argon Finishing Balm. This is said to be the step after your skincare and before your makeup. 
It's a nourishing skincare finisher and makeup primer. It instantly hydrates skin while minimizing the appearance of pores, adds a plumped, ethereal, luminous look to the skin. I feel, yes, it does kind of leave your skin or left my skin with a satin finish and a nice subtle glow i don't feel though it blurred my pores as well as my pore problem does or even the hourglass uh, mineral veil primer does this is 0.18 ounces the full size 36 dollars is 0.5 ounces so it's a little bigger than this i definitely won't be getting this again when it finishes because i felt it didn't drastically change the texture of my skin especially here i'll show you a close-up once i applied the foundation i still felt even after applying the finishing balm that i still saw my pores they didn't look as smooth as they do after applying my touch and soul or my hourglass mineral veil and that's okay like i don't have that type of skin for a balm to perform well on and even though it's a beautiful product, it's a nice emollient plush product, it absorbs well into the skin. It didn't leave me greasy or oily at all, even though it's labeled as a balm. It does leave my skin with a satin finish, and maybe if I was doing a no makeup look or not putting on anything i will dab this here just to give off that lit from within glow i don't think it's necessary for me to repurchase simply because again i love the primers that i already have and for my skin texture i need a little bit more of pore refining and that's that with the uh, finishing balm. Here is the Argon Enlightenment Illuminizer. This I thought was really nice. Typically though, you know how, especially in other videos when I'm speaking about liquid highlighters, it's very rare that I use a liquid highlighter. Excuse me, I'm just looking for this on Z website so I could tell you the price. This is the box that comes in full size. It's 0.5 ounces for $26 and this is designed to provide a nice healthy glow radiance to healthy skin while providing nourishment because again it is infused with the argon oil in addition to Madonna Lily. Whoa. As I mentioned before, a lot of Josie's products are infused with skincare, especially the argon oil. It's on the top of the list for this illuminizer. Aqua, glycerin, butylene glycol. Argon oil is the sixth ingredient listed, and that makes sense because maybe you don't want it to be so, so dewy. But it's like a champagne hue, and I think it really pretty. I apply this right after my foundation, and I really love the luminous effect it left my skin. And I would definitely use this. I did use this one time, uh, mixing it with my foundation. But it was like a lot. The one thing I would wish this did was the pump to be, to not have so much resistance because I just pumped this much and I think this for me is too much just to apply to my cheekbone but once you rub it it's a really beautiful sheen and it doesn't look glittery on the skin why I apply this right after my foundation it left my skin with a really nice glow if you're into combining illuminizers with your foundation i think this will fare very well but that will be a little too dewy for me just to the high points of my face is enough i wish again the bottle didn't pump out so much product at once because i don't need this much for my cheekbones forehead nose and bow cupid's bow that's the only thing i would say but i i love the the shade of this illuminizer very hydrating as well so it's nice to know that what you're applying on your skin is nourishing as well in addition to the aesthetic benefits that it comes with because we have so much illuminizer on our hand i thought it appropriate to now present the last product i chose her bare naked wipes i love wipes i use them every day to remove my makeup i'm always in need of them because of traveling or when doing lipstick swatches, filming videos for those swatches, uh, doing my makeup, what have you. I think they come in really handy. I believe this retails for $12. I have my Sephora wipes 
because I wanted to compare the size. I think the Bare Naked Wipes are a touch smaller than the Sephora, but we'll see together. This is the Josie. They're nearly the same size, but the Sephora is a touch thicker. You see that the Josie is a little more see-through and the Sephora not, it's a little more opaque. I like I like the Josie for what it does. It's it's a nice wipe. It has argon oil, of course, and it also helps the polar bears. It says erase your face and help say the polar bear race. I think a little piece of the profits from this product goes to that organization. I'll I'll link all info down below. None of them are affiliate links. I don't believe. I don't think I received an affiliate link. If there are links that are affiliate ones that I get sent, I will let you know. As of now, though, I will just link uh the Sephora ones down below just so you can double check on the product knowledge and all that stuff. Overall, though, I'm very happy with the products that I chose. I think Josie Marin is a very solid brand. It's a great brand in that how much skincare benefits it infuses in their makeup across the board. They don't have a ton 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 of makeup but I know she has like a powder illuminizer, uh, the foundation that we talked about. I'm scrolling through here to see if I bump into any makeup things. She's generally a very much a skincare brand and she launched uh, a lot of different serums and lotion hybrids. She does have a mascara. She has a luminizing stick. I would try any of those products. I really love the ones that I chose because I felt they integrated well with my current routine, makeup, and skincare. The one product I think I love the most was probably the face butter because it surprised me the most. I knew I was gonna love the body butter because I think I tried a sample of it in Sephora once and I was blown away. Face butter because butter, the word implies, I don't know, grease, oil, heaviness, but this is a really nice whipped texture that did not leave my skin greasy at all. In fact, it was soft, hydrated, smooth, really worked well with my other skincare. The foundation is great. I think it's a little too dewy for me and the shade match is off. It's my fault because I think for my skin tone, I need two of these just to balance out the warmness and the olive tone in there. But I will continue to use it because the skincare benefit why not? Just pile it on. Pile on the argan oil. And that's the wrap, friends. Let me know if you had tried any Joseph Marin products down below. If you did, what your favorites are. Some that didn't work out for you. And yeah, we'll talk about it. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until then, I'll see you on here again with another review, chit chat, or get ready with me. Take care and have a good one. Bye!